All right, we've got um, the barley, and I did already cook that. I'm gonna put it in a big bowl. Where's my big bowl? I'll move back over here so it's easier to see here. And the barley is easier, easy to cook. You just sort of cook it like rice. Um, boil the water and um, put the barley in, let it simmer a little bit, and then just kind of leave it until all the water's absorbed. And that's exactly what it says on the box. Okay, then we're gonna put in some mixed fruit, some diced celery. I did toast some pine nuts, and all you do is put them on a cookie sheet, put them in a 300 degree oven, and uh, just kind of toast them a little bit. It brings out the flavor of the nuts. We're gonna use a tomato, a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, and some cilantro. Okay. So we will get started. Right. It makes about three cups, you know, usually a little bit more than double on that. So don't, um, you know, that's one of the things like pasta and rice, you have to kind of be careful of it, especially if you're thinking about portion control is it just sort of multiplies real quickly. So um, you have to watch what you're doing. So this is about a cup and a half of the dry barley. It comes into, that's about three cups. All right, we'll put our, go ahead and put our diced celery in there. I'll go ahead and chop this tomato. When I seed this, I just sort of pull the seeds out with my thumb. And all that's doing is to getting some of the moisture out of there. Okay. And I think this would be wonderful with, when the um, homegrown tomatoes come in. Our tomato. Now, usually I can buy the, um, or I get the diced, I forget what it's called, mixed fruit. I couldn't find that today, so the, we have to chop this. But there's apples and pears, I think. What is this? Peaches, maybe? It's funny, when the stuff is dried, it's like, uh, what exactly is that? That's apple, I know that. That's um, apricot. Those are prunes. I guess that's it. So the pieces are a little bit big. Sometimes you can get the already diced up stuff. And if you don't like this kind of fruit, there's a tropical blend down there that I think would be very good. Uh, if you wanted to just go with, I don't know if I would put, I don't think I would put blueberries in there. But the dried cranberries would be good, raisins of course. Would be good, the golden ones. I think it'll look, look a little bit better. I should have done this before. Oh, well, we have to wait for our cauliflower to... All right, what else do we need in here? Some cilantro. goodness we've done a lot of chopping tonight all right now let's 
basket. Put that, uh, yeah, put that all in there. Okay. We'll chop our cilantro and then we should be done chopping. And I, I have, I've said before, I think uh, sometimes cilantro is an acquired taste. I happen to like it. If you don't like it, um, try it in, in different dishes and, and see. Um, I think it's very good. I think it adds a, a nice flavor to, to um, different salads and things. Uh, it's, it's good in salsa, of course. Um, just a little bit different flavor. So don't say, oh, I don't like it. Maybe you just didn't like it in what you had, had it before. All right. That's probably not enough. I don't like to chop up these big stalks. All right. When we chop herbs or anything like this, we try to make a little tiny ball. Whatever. <laughs> you can probably make it um, both ways because you're going to, if you were going to measure it like this, you would pack these in there, whereas you wouldn't have to pack the already, um, already chopped ones. All right, and our lemon juice. All right, what else do we need in here? Our olive oil. Oh, this is our, for our dressing. Well, let's put our barley in first. Now this has been sitting, so I'm gonna just kinda break it up a little bit. Okay. You could. I thought we liked barley. <laughs> We're trying different flavors and stuff. Yes, you could use rice. I think you could even use I think you'd probably even use um, a small pasta. I wouldn't use, um, I don't think I'd use spaghetti, but I would use um, um, couscous, yes. It might be a little bit fine for that. Um, try it. I think I would, if, I, if you were using pasta, I'd try something tight like rotini or um, not something, you know, like egg noodles or something, but something a little bit tighter. Okay. Yeah, I think that would be good. Okay. All right, did we get everything in there? Put the salt and pepper, the lemon juice, the olive oil. All right. And the pine nuts. We'll get those in. And there we've got, you know, this is a really nice little side dish. Uh, I think it's going to have, it's got some great flavor in here. Uh, going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. Like I said, it can be cold uh, or warm. I think I, I like it a little bit at room temperature. Whoops, oh, pine nuts jumped out. Um, only because there's... You know, we've, we've had the hot barley with the um, fruit before. I think I would prefer not to have the fruit hot, personally. Okay, there we go with our barley tabbouleh. Very pretty. 